Hi guys, this is Mel Money, and today I'll be taking you through Immediate Media Co's 42nd issue of Lego Ninjago, Masters of Spinjitzu. This issue comes with an exclusive Kai minifigure with fire powers as well as a pack of Star Wars trading cards. On page 2 of the magazine we get a little overview page of the Star Wars trading cards. On page 3 we get our classic contents page telling us what we have in store for this magazine. Before I go more into the magazine I thought I'd do a quick pack opening of the card pack that I got with this magazine to give an example of the card. I got a Sith Lord Darth Maul, a Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, a Snow Speeder, Nari and or a thing. On the next page we get the Ninja Scrolls with three articles and a warning. The first is Dragon Frenzy telling us that the ninja have escaped from the Dragon Hunters. The second is The Firstborn which gives us some information about the Firstborn. And the third is Dragon Hunters which tells us that the Dragon Hunters are chasing the ninja. The warning given is about the only titan in Ninjago City. On page 5 we get our first puzzle of the magazine, Dragon Sudoku, which is well, a dragon Sudoku. We also get Hidden Ninja, a word search with the ninja's name. On page 6 and 7 we have the start of the comic, Save or Be Saved, which is about the ninja escaping from the dragon hunters and saving a dragon that as we see on page 8. On page 9 we get Throne Room Confusion, which is a spot the difference game using the Throne Room set. On the next two pages we see the ninja saving the dragon before being saved by Firstborn. On page 12 Firstborn releases the ninja, causing them to crash into the diesel knot. On page 13 we get Sand in Your Eye, a game where you have to spot the characters at the bottom of the page in the sandstorm. There's a bonus game to find someone who doesn't belong there. On the next two pages we get an info page on Kai, a game and building instructions. The game is Activate the Destiny's Wing, a game in which you have to find a path that leads Kai to the Destiny's Wing. In this issue we get a limited edition Kai minifigure that comes with flame powers, a black scabbard and two golden swords. The minifigure's design is identical to the Sons of Garmadon costumes we got in this past set of seasons, like sets, so um, not this last one but the one just before. The only difference being the mask because it doesn't have the symbol on the top. This being said I still love the minifigure's design. Mainly because I love the colour red, but also because of the ninja costume we get with the minifigure. I particularly like the torso print just because of the level of detail. I really like the robes and the kind of thing. Another feature that I quite like are the patterns on the minifigure. Because I kind of think that they look a bit like scales on a dragon. Which is something that I quite like considering you know the dragon theme and that was heavily played upon in this past season. The minifigure comes with two faces. A um, happy face and a angry face, if I can get it all the way around in one spin. Still didn't, but there we go. An angry face looking off into the distance. The main features of the minifigure are of course the fire powers that we get with it. And I think that these are a large improvement on the old ones that we used to get, which didn't come with the handle, so they would just be like that, so you'd have to put them into the hand. But I think the handle actually gives them a more realistic look if Fire powers were real in real life. What I mean is obviously they look a lot more like the ones that we see in the series, just shooting out of the hand and not being made into a kind of a flame sword kind of thing. The other thing I like is obviously you can use the handle for other things, but when you've just got that little fire handle there, it can't be used for it as many things. Another thing that I quite like about the minifigure, good one of its features are the two golden swords because for some reason I don't have many golden swords anymore so it's quite nice to get some I quite like these ones as well because they contrast quite nicely with the black scabbard on the back on page 16 we get the flight of the fire ninja which is another puzzle maze game the first poster is full speed through the wasteland showing the diesel knot and dragon hunters and the second poster is Kai master of fire which is my personal favourite. This issue's competition awards the winner with the Stormbringer and Firstborn sets. On pages 22 and 23 we get Attack of the Dragon Hunters, which gives us an overview of the Diesel Knot set that comes with Teen Wu, Zane, Jay and an assortment of Dragon Hunters. The set also comes with all three components of the Dragon Armour, 
and has lots of interactive features including secret spaces and compartments. On pages 24 and 25 we see the ninja trying to survive the diesel knot by getting rid of the wheel to also help Zane and Wu. On pages 26 and 27 we see the ninja trying to get to the top of the diesel knot to try and save Zane and Wu as the wheel plan did not go well as planned. On the final pages of the comic we see the ninjas being saved by Firstborn and that's the end of the comic. The next page is an information page for the dragon armour. It also comes with a fact file and a few different characters that link to the armour such as Firstborn and Iron Baron. On page 32 we get the Your Dragon Hunter activity where you can design your own dragon hunter and send it to the magazine. I will include in the description how to send it to the magazine. On page 34 we get to see what we will be getting in the next issue, on sale from November the 7th. In the next issue we will get a Samurai X minifigure that comes with a spear and shield, as well as an extra toy. I already really like the Samurai X minifigure even though it is not out yet and I will definitely be getting this issue. On the final page and back cover of the magazine we also get 4 ninja postcards of Garmadon, the Dragon Hunters, Lloyd and Firstborn. I think these are all pretty good and I quite like the differences between the Garmadon and Lloyd. That's it for this video. If you liked the video, don't hesitate to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. You can also follow me on Twitter for updates on my videos. I've been Marvel Manny, thanks for watching.